Firefighters in Southern California are bracing for conditions to get worse as high winds are expected to blow through that area tonight and tomorrow. These are light pictures from the fire lines tonight. The hillside still lit up. Now we've learned the Thomas Fire, the one in Ventura County, is now 5% contained. It's one of four major wildfires that have blackened tens of thousands of acres and destroyed hundreds of structures in Southern California. This is something that's going to be, uh, we need mending, we need help, and it's going to take a long time. Meanwhile, Northern California residents still yes, reeling with pain from the loss of their homes and loved ones during the October wildfires. It has scarred many victims, and the disaster down south isn't helping. CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw continues our team coverage from Yuba County, where many are still trying to cope. 200 homes burned here in Loma Rica just two months ago. Families, they lost just about everything, including this homeowner. But she says she's not going to give up hope. And that's why we see this wreath here standing for the holidays on the only thing that's left. You can see the remnants of chairs in what used to be a comfortable life. This is all Kelly Sin and her 85 year old father have left. You wake up in the morning and you wished it wasn't you. The fire came with a fury, sparing only their lives. We didn't know which way to go. Just get out. A dream her parents built nearly three decades ago. Pure happiness until her mother's passing last year. Then the terrorizing night in October. First thing he said is, well, I lost my wife and I've lost my home. I have nothing left to live for. Father and daughter overcome with despair. What would be left? Leaving an animal behind the way you have to do in a situation like this rips your heart out. But instead, a miracle. Her 26-year-old mare survived and was rescued. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. It's been nearly two months. Kelly says it gets easier, but the hurt doesn't go away. Your life will never be the same. Now, as the fires rage across Southern California, even the news is too hard to bear. What went down that night? The wind, the heat, the fear, the unknown. You don't want to relive that again. While thousands more are now feeling the loss, she wants them to never give up. Finding just the littlest thing gives us hope towards the future. Amongst the rubble and perhaps the most important, her mother's wedding ring. It's the faith that keeps her going, plus the man who's given her so much. It's been my job to be his reason and to be his light. Out of those 200 homes, I'm told the debris has been removed from about 90. There's still a lot of work to be done, but I'm told they hope to have all of it done in time for Christmas. Jen, thank you. These